Welcome to the Workforce Development Information Session of Hartford's first annual virtual open house. The Community Education, Business and Applied Technology Division, otherwise known as CBAT Division, offers pathways that prepare you to challenging and fast paced careers in the areas of business, computer technology, cybersecurity, manufacturing, trades and information systems. My name is Sherry Massoni, Assistant Dean for Continuing Education and Training, and I will be your moderator for this session. Before introducing you to my esteemed CET colleagues, uh, we need to take care of a few housekeeping items. First, uh, the session is being recorded and will be available online at harvard.edu forward slash learn more, all one word. This is also the place where pers prospective students and parents can get the information they need to begin their journey at Harford. There is also a chat feature. If you look at your right hand of your screen, you'll see a toolbar. And this is available throughout the session um, so that you can ask questions during our Q&A at the end. Um, we are also offering multiple sessions today. So that requires you to end this session and then log back in for the next session. Um, that's even though the login is the same, you still have to sign out to come back in. Um, so that's a few things. And now I'm going to launch um, and introduce you to our first uh, speaker or presenter is Victor Saran. Uh, Victor is the Director for Corporate and Professional Training within the uh, Continuing Education and Training area. Victor. Thank, thank you very much, Sherry, and welcome everyone to the virtual open house. I will be discussing our construction, manufacturing, and apprenticeship programs this evening. I'll start off with the construction programs. Uh, Harford Community College offers many programs that give you certifications and licensures that allow you to obtain very good jobs uh, in the construction and manufacturing area. Uh, we offer programs in plumbing, electrical, carpentry, HVAC, which includes refrigeration, electrical, comfort cooling, and heating, masonry. These programs can lead to a building maintenance program certificate. Many people, the Bureau of Labor Statistics today are showing that many of these occupations are in high demand. So these would be excellent training programs for anyone to take if they're looking for a career in those positions. We also offer uh, programs in heavy equipment operator. We have three classes that will get you a certificate, which gives you a foot up in, in, in getting a job in the heavy equipment operator road operations uh, occupations. We also have print reading, home improvement prep. We have home inspector prep. We've got programs that prepare you to take the licensure certifications for programs that the state has. We also offer a one day forklift certification program that's approved by OSHA and that allows you to drive a forklift safely Harford County has many, many warehouses located along the Route 40 corridor and 95, and they're all looking for employees. With the forklift certification, you could walk right in and obtain a job. Uh, we also offer a solar panel installation certification. Many, many people are using their roofs to pay off their electric bills. You would be one of those folks installing the solar panels, working with electricians, to place the panels on the roof so that folks would be able to then uh, allocate the amount of electricity that they would want to pay off for their bills or to accumulate electrical credits moving forward. So these are programs that, that the population are looking for. And again, the occupational outlook is strong for these programs. If you do go into our electrical or HVAC programs, you also have the opportunity to go into our apprenticeship program. It's basically a pathway. And our apprenticeship programs, we have one in electrical, we have one in HVAC. They are both four-year programs. They consist of on-the-job training and classroom-related instruction. You work, and while you work, you are earning money. And then in the evenings, you go to class and you learn more. And in four years, you can go from making $15 to $18 an hour to $40 an hour. 
in, in a very safe, convenient environment, working for a contractor uh, who would then you would be an employee with. And again, there's no there's a minor amount of tuition, but usually the employer pays that in an apprenticeship situation. Let's move on to manufacturing. We offer manufacturing programs that employers in this area need. We offer welding. We have two different welding programs. We have a welding one and an advanced welding two program. Each are only 30 hours long. We work in conjunction with Harford Technical High School, which is located right across the street from Harford Community College. You could take both welding programs and again, manufacturer, manufacturers and con contractors are looking for folks who can weld. In addition to welding, we offer machining programs over at Harford Technical High School. We have instructors who have 20, 30, and 40 years worth of experience. Folks who have actually worked at Aberdeen Proving Ground for the military as our instructors. We also offer shop skills, hydraulics, pneumatics, uh, pro programs and courses that would get you again a foot up if you were if you were applying for jobs in the manufacturing industry. And you have to remember this, these are regional occupational jobs. It's not just Harford County. You can get jobs in Cecil, Baltimore County, Baltimore City. Uh, let's move on to other programs that we developed just recently. We have a drone technology program, which is really up and coming. Uh, again, the occupational handbook shows this as one that has a an incredible increase in the number that will be needed in the years moving forward. It consists of three classes. At the end of the third class, you would be eligible for the FAA PT-107 certification, which is required for you to have if you're going to fly a drone. Drones are now used in our agriculture, sports, law enforcement, photography, you name it. Uh, they are taking the place of helicopters now. They're much less expensive easier to handle, uh, so, so employers are looking to for drone operators, not only employers, but folks in uh, at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Department of Defense contractors who are working a, a, abroad are looking for drone, uh, drone operators also. So we also offer that program and you can have it, you can complete that program within three months. We also have a vet assisting program. So if you love animals, uh, this program, which takes about a semester to complete, you would learn disease and nutrition, diagnostics, you would work with a veterinarian or a veterinarian tech, and, and you would develop relationships with, the, with those veterinarians. And, and if you, again, enjoy working with animals, it's a place to be. We also offer dog grooming program. Again, if you love animals, that, that's a great, great way to be. You could even become your own boss. You can, we have entrepreneurship programs that you can go through and start your own business, either as a dog groomer, and we do offer externships for both programs where you would actually work as part of your of the program with either a, a vet or a grooming uh, or a company. We also offer culinary tech programs. If you enjoy working in the kitchen, we have applied kitchen skills. You learn baking, nutrition, knife work. This is a commercial kitchen atmosphere. Uh, you go through this, and again, you would be you would have you have certifications that folks in the restaurant industry would be very interested in. Uh, we are just starting. We're starting this fall two new programs. One's a craft brewing technician. The other one's an oyster shucking certification. So you know, we really try to look around and see where the need is uh, in the various areas that we are trying to provide training. Uh, Lastly, we offer a engineering tech program. We have a lot of Department of Defense contractors in this area who are looking for not, not only engineers, but technicians who can work with those engineers and do the day-to-day -day testing while the engineers work on other aspects of the job. They, you would learn electrical control systems, electronics, technical print reading. So these are just a couple of the programs that Hartford Community College offers for you. Many of these programs can be completed within, within anywhere from one day to, to four months. These are great opportunities for you to get enrolled, train, and then get a, a job in an industry that you would really enjoy working in. So if you have any questions, I think you can save them for the end of the discussion. Sherry, I'll turn it back over to you.
Thanks, Vector. Um, wow, every time I hear you share all those offerings, um, it's just amazing to me. Um, I plan to pursue the oyster shucking. We've talked about this, and that's my next career choice. But uh, yeah. so, well, so if, you the, if you do the oyster shucking, I'll I'll be the one eating the oysters. <laughs> Sounds good. So certainly okay. we have so many offerings and it's so diverse and it's extremely interesting to hear you share. Um, I know Victor provides a lot of extensive experience in those areas and it's exciting about all of our new programming as well. Um, so now I have the opportunity to introduce you to Dawn Reimer. Uh, Dawn is a continuing education and training associate. Um, she's going to talk to you about allied health um, opportunities as well as scholarship opportunities. Thanks, Dawn. Hi, thanks, Sherry. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening. We're excited to share all of our programming and opportunities with you. Allied health has a lot to offer and it's always in huge demand. We're lucky we have Upper Chesapeake right here in Hartford County huge employer and they always need various um, positions and Hartford Community College, we're providing the training. So a lot of opportunities there. All of our programs have a clinical component to it. So if you, for instance, complete the certified nursing assistant program, you're going to have a 66 hour clinical externship where we place you you're there with your instructor, you have hands-on skills, and more importantly, you're getting on the job training. That can go in your resume. Um, along with the externships, clinical externships with each program, each program includes a component where the instructor works with you to prepare your interviewing skills, resume writing, to make sure you're really targeting that position for which your education is preparing you for. Within Allied Health, we have lots of different programs. One of our largest programs is EMS. We offer a paramedic program, takes about 18 months to finish it. Um, and once you're finished, it's preparing you to sit for the national registry examination. Once you take that examination, you can be licensed in any state in the country. You're not just limited to Maryland, although you certainly could be licensed in Maryland. We also offer an EMT program, which is a stepping stone to becoming a paramedic. EMTs provide basic life support, and we're preparing you to go out there, ride on an ambulance, whether it's for a fire department or a commercial company, and provide that service. That program takes about five months to complete, and it has a clinical externship where you're actually riding on the ambulance, um, gaining patient assessments. The other program that we have is, I mentioned before, Certified Nursing Assistant. And that can be completed in 12 weeks. I can tell you that Upper Chesapeake desperately needs these people. They use them in all of their departments. And it is um, just a much needed position, even in long-term care facilities and assistant living facilities. We offer this program three times a year, the fall, the spring, and the summer. Again, 12 weeks, two nights a week on campus and every other weekend at the clinical site. We also offer a dental assistant program. You can complete this program in about a semester and a half. It again has clinical component where for 40 hours you're working in a dental office and we place you individually. In addition to that, the dental program adds, um, includes an oral radiography component that prepares you to sit for the state licensure for oral radiography. And then we offer what's called de uh, general dental expanded functions. For those people that are already a dental assistant, they can take this class. It's an added value to the skills that they already have, and they add one to that. And then, of course, they're more valuable and they can do more for wherever they're working or wherever they're hoping to work. The other programs that we have is an online histology program. If you're working in a lab, a pathology lab, a derm lab, a Mohs lab, you can apply for this program. It's a 10 month online program. All the didactic you're gonna do in your lab that you're already working for. Um, and that prepares you again to take a national certification. 
Uh, we also have a medical administrative assistant, which prepares you to work in a medical office, whether it's for a hospital, a doctor, or some other sort of medical care facility. It also it teaches you to work at the front desk, um, gives you a little bit of billing and coding and electronic health records um, information, as well as making appointments, working with the patient, kind of being the front line um, to anything in a medical office. You can also sit for a national certification for that program as well. That program takes about two months to complete, sorry, two semesters complete. We also offer a nurse refresher program. If you are a nurse in the state of Maryland and your license is active or inactive, but in good standing, you can complete our nurse refresher program, which takes a semester to complete. And um, you're in um, the theory portion online, there's a skills day, and then there's clinical. So it's very comprehensive in helping you to reobtain your nursing license in the state of Maryland. We also offer a phlebotomy program, and the phlebotomy program begins with phlebotomy one, that it takes just about a semester, but you're learning all the foundations of healthcare, including HIPAA, professionalism, a little bit of medical terminology, human anatomy and physiology, and prepares you to then enter into phlebotomy two, which is hands-on, and you're actually working um, with people. You're learning to take specimens, how to prepare them, how to be safe in dealing with that, and then you have an 80-hour externship where we place you into a lab, and you're working with patients on a daily basis. Again, you can get a, a national certification for that, and there's an add one to that. We have what's called IV therapy. It's a one day, eight hour class. And you learn the skills of placing IV lines, removing IV lines um, in a safe environment. And those are used more often in a, a physician's office or in a hospital setting. We also open, offer a phys excuse me, physical therapist technician program. Part of that program is offered online and has a 40 hour externship with it. We have other um, kind of add on programs. If you're a nurse and you're interested in phlebotomy skills, we have a one day, eight hour class, phlebotomy basics for nurses. We also offer American Heart Association CPR classes. They can be for basic life support for healthcare providers. We also have what's called Heart Saver for the general public. The heart saver are offered once a semester. The basic life support is offered multiple times over the semester. Um, if you ever have any questions about anything, we're happy to help you and answer questions. You have my email address, I believe, is on the information page. And I also want to touch real quickly on funding. Within workforce development, we have quite a few opportunities to fund students. Unfortunately, fortunately, FAFSA does not work um, as eligible for CET students. So we have a few other things that you can work with. We have scholarships that are available. We have college funded scholarships. We have our foundation has funded scholarships for us. We also have the Workforce Development Sequence Scholarship, which is funded by the state of Maryland for approved programs. In addition, we have the payment plan that the college offers. And that's available for any workforce development program that is at least $500 in one semester for tuition and fees. Some programs are also approved for military connected educational benefits. So that's an option for you as well. And again, if you have any questions about the funding options, I'm more than happy to help you with that as well. Thank you. Thanks so much, Dawn. Uh, Thank you. I know myself, um, I funded most of my education through scholarships, and I always tell my students, apply for everything. Um, right. Because it's, it, often these opportunities go unfunded. So certainly, you know, apply. And, um, you know, if you're lucky enough to be one of those recipients, it's fantastic. Um, so good Absolutely. opportunities. Thank I'm you. also lucky enough to work with Dawn as one of her faculty. So if yes. you decide, <laughs> and it's awesome, it's an awesome program. So if you decide to pursue or if you're interested in pursuing medical office assistant, um, you know, you may see me in the classroom. So thanks, Dawn. Thank you, Sherry.
Okay, and last but certainly not least, I want to introduce you to Pam Karwowski. Uh, Pam is the Director for Government uh, uh, contractor and IT training uh, within the continuing education and training area. The path. Thank you, Sherry. Good evening, sure. everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. So my area is primarily IT, cybersecurity, and project management. I do do some training also in print graphic design, big data, and data analytics. So the first area we'll talk about is our basic IT training. We have basic IT training in Microsoft Office products from Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. All these classes, if you take them in the various sequences, will qualify you to sit for the Microsoft Office Specialist exam. So they do prepare you for a certifi industry certification that you can take with you. We do not give those certification tests at the college, they are given by an organization called Certiport, and they're located throughout the country. We also offer one hour seminars where there is not hands on training, but you actually use a go to webinar meeting and you log in and you watch live instruction from an instructor that will give you a one hour session on how to use some of the Microsoft products, as well as some of the Microsoft Office 365 products, such as OneDrive. Teams, OneNote, and SharePoint, just to name a few. She also does these one hour sessions for various products, just as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So she might take a topic such as pivot tables in Excel and just show you some various things that you can do with inside of Excel using pivot tables. So that's our Microsoft Office suite. We also offer classes in QuickBooks. QuickBooks is an accounting package that allows you to keep track of your accounting records. Many of the firms here in the county utilize QuickBooks, and we do have a certified instructor that teaches that class as well. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is probably one of the hottest areas in the county as well as in the nation. There is a job shortage in the nation of more than 500,000. We start our cybersecurity training off with A+. A plus is a national certification by CompTIA. And then we follow that up with Network Plus and Security Plus. All three of those certifications are backed by CompTIA. We, we prepare you to sit for CompTIA certifications in all three of them. Then we offer some higher end certification called Certified Ethical Hacker or CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional. Again, these are all certifications that are national certifications by independent organizations that will help you to get a job in cybersecurity. We have a very large Department of Defense contractors here in the county, as well as we have Aberdeen Proving Ground, both of which have picked up our students once they have taken classes, sat for the exams, passed the exams. So there's a huge, huge opportunity for you to get a job here in cybersecurity. We also offer classes in cloud computing. One of the classes we offer is Amazon Web Services Foundation class. And again, that class also has a national certification attached to it that when you're done the class, you are eligible to sit for the certification. From cyber, we also offer the ability to be able to take those cyber classes and to have a pathway into our credit program. We have a cyber credit program on campus. And typically what happens is once you take some of the cyber programs, such as maybe A+, Net+, and or Security+, Plus on the non-credit side, once you pass those certification exams by CompTIA, you then can go to the dean and petition to have those credits waived for your towards your degree in cybersecurity. So it's a nice way to start your foot into a college and a college atmosphere. And then if you like the field, then to go further on and actually get your degree. We also offer classes in project management and risk management. We help prepare students for the CAPM, which is the, cert the Certified Associate Project Manager, as well as the Project Manager Professional. And then we also offer classes in risk management. All three of these classes have certifications attached to them as well. They're all based on Project Management Institute. It's a national organization. 
We also offer classes in print graphic design. Print graphic design helps people to design paperwork for print material, such as it might help you design letterhead, it might help you design envelopes, things of that nature that if you wanted to start your own business in the print world, it would actually help you work to figure out what fonts are the correct fonts to use, what type graph, what type, type graph to use, um, things of that nature, and how to use some of the Adobe products such as Illustrator and InDesign. We also offer classes in big data and data analytics. Those are two emerging areas that are coming out and we offer introduction classes in both of these areas. All of our classes are taught by industry working professionals. So if you wanted to take, say a cybersecurity class, an A plus class, our A plus class is not only taught by individuals that are currently have those certifications, but it's also taught by a chief that actually works in the network area over on Aberdeen Proving Ground. He is a government employee. The same goes for our Security Plus or my CEH or CISSP. They don't necessarily work for Aberdeen Proving Ground, but they all are industry professionals currently working in their field as well as they have the current certifications. Our classes can be anywhere from one day up to three and a half months for those programs. So like our Word, Excel, PowerPoint classes, they are typically one day or seven hour classes. However, the A plus class is approximately three and a half months. It's approximately 132 hours. Our Network Plus class is approximately 80 hours, Security Plus approximately 40 hours. So now I'm gonna ask Cynthia if she would please bring up the, the college's micro website. I am pulling that up right now, Pam. Thank you. So as she's pulling that up, once she gets that up on your screen, you will see that the programs that Victor, Dawn, and myself spoke about are all here on our micro website. Once you get to Pam, that micro... Pam, can I interrupt for just a second? I just want to say that the microsite, to get to the microsite, to get to this area, um, from our homepage, you can click on either prospective students or you can click on the bar that says apply, visit, enroll. And once you get to that, you'll be able to scroll down to workforce development. And this is the page that Pam was talking about. Thank you, Cynthia. So when you get to this page, you'll be able to view the programs that we have, whether it was Victor speaking about them, Dawn speaking about them, or myself speaking about them. You can see all of these programs that are listed. Please also keep in mind that many of these programs can be offered and are offered with both face-to-face -face or online options. So such as right now, we're currently running some word classes that can be offered face-to-face -face where you can come in with a live instructor or you can do it online still with a live instructor, but you're gonna do it from your own home or your own computer at a location of your choice. So many of our classes can be done that way. Then we have the other classes that I spoke about, those one hour sessions. Those sessions are the go to meeting, and those sessions you we can do from wherever you want. And then we have what's called Edge Go. And Edge Go, we have two different options. We have basic classes that are usually about 12 sessions, and then we have more robust classes that are called career training in Edge Go. And those classes can last for several months. Again, any questions that you have regarding IT, cybersecurity, project management, big data, or data analytics, please feel free to ask me questions. Thank you. The other thing I want to bring up while we have this site pulled up is the financial piece that was talked about earlier. Um, there is a section on this page for financial aid for workforce development programs. And you can click on scholarships, tuition assistance, or military benefits. And it will take you here for all of the scholarships that are available. And then if you click on the military benefits, it will take you to financial assistance for veterans and National Guard waivers, et cetera. So that's all available on this site. Thank you.
Thank you, Pam. Um, once again, you can see all the diverse offerings and the power of certifications in the workplace um, has just risen to such uh, importance. And certainly Pam offers all those opportunities. And, you know, that sometimes that means so much um, in regards to someone taking a look at your resume or not look, taking a look at your resume. Um, so again, thanks, Pam, for all of your knowledge and your uh, sharing of that information. Uh, Cynthia, I think I'm going to turn it over to you now um, for Q&A. Do we have question and answers? Okay, do we have any questions from anyone at this point? I know we had we had one question that came up about um, the welding. What if I've taken welding in high school? Can I transfer that and come into the college or is it the same program? So I guess, Victor, if you're still there? Yes, I am here. Uh, I'd have to review the welding curriculum that the student took when they were in high school and compare it to Harvard Community College's uh, curriculum, I would have our instructor review it. Uh, our program is just a 30-hour program, basic welding class. So that that if that person is interested, they can certainly contact me directly, and uh, and I would look at their need to know what high school they went to, what their curriculum was, review it with my instructor, and we would be able to get back with that student and let them know where they would stand. Great, thanks, Victor. Um, another question came in. I'm interested in allied health programs. Do I need to take a placement test for that? Hi, great John? question. Yeah. So a few of the programs you do need to take, and it's not a placement test, you need to take an assessment test. Um, and those are conducted through our test center on campus. Um, it's a reading and a math test. If you have college math or reading, um, or you have SAT scores um, at a certain number, we can waive those for you. And again, you can contact me and I can give you all that information and make that determination on your behalf. Um, some of the programs require, for instance, the paramedic, that you're already an EMT and you're an affiliated with an EMS um, affiliate somehow. If um, EMT program, there's no assessments for that. Okay, thank you. Um, another question is, with everything going on right now, um, you're talking about hands-on courses. Can any of these be taken online and how is that happening? So as I mentioned, many of our programs can be taken online. They go through various different platforms. Some of the classes are doing through Zoom. Some of them are doing them through Microsoft Teams. Some are using what's called Blackboard. So there are several of the classes that we do currently offer that offer hands-on learning that we are doing online and then they have online lab components to them. Great, thank you. And I guess this one is for everyone. What help do you provide out of these programs? Cynthia, you cut out on, on your question. Could you repeat that please? What help does the college provide for students in these programs as far as job placement? I can take that for Allied Health. We have a career fair that we offer every semester. We have somewhere between 15 and 20 recruiters come on campus from hospitals, doctor's offices, the Department of Health for Harford County attends as well. And students are given the opportunity to then make contact with each representative um, from those facilities. We encourage them to have a resume with them so they can hand out resumes. We have a mock interview session that day. Um, and But students get that opportunity to make that contact and hopefully then get an interview and potentially a job. Thank you very much. I would also, I would also like to say, I'm sure Pam can assist me with this, but we do have relationships with Susquehanna Workforce Network and other employer groups that we work with to try to assist our students. We do not have the ability to place them directly with employers, but again, we do have the ability to work with employers and to try to assist them. Pam, did you want to add anything to that? 
I would just add that for those people that get into the cyber program that may go as far as getting A plus, net plus, and security plus, we do have a relationship with Aberdeen Proving Ground, and there is potential to possibly get you in the door over there with a DOD contractor. We can't guarantee anything, but there is a possibility. Great. And is there a different process for these as opposed to the credits? So is there a different application process for CET versus credit students? Yes, as far as the admissions process. Dawn, would you like to take that one? Sure. Um, to education students do not need to apply to the college officially. They are, uh, we don't require them to declare a program. Basically, the only requirement is that they apply to get a Harford student ID. Once they obtain that ID, they're able to register for classes. They can do that one or two ways. Through the continuing education registration page, they can fill out some brief personal information. They'll get a reply back from Hartford Community College with that student ID and directions how to log in if they wanted to register online. Once we open back up, students can come on campus in person to the continuing education registration desk located in Edgewood Hall. By filling out a registration form and handing that in in person, they can register for any program. If the program has prerequisites, um, they'll need to complete them before um, progressing further into their programs. But that's something that they can work with Pam or Victor and myself on um, to, to get an idea of, of how to progress that way. Great. And I think this, our last question, to utilize the library on campus if I'm a continuing ed I think the entire community of Harford County can use our library services so it doesn't matter if you're a student or not. Correct and let me add to that one of the benefits of being a continuing education workforce development student if you're in a program that has a clinical component to it you also get credit to be able to print on campus so if you have any handouts or manuals that you need to print you can use that money that has been allocated to you to print while you're on campus. And we have um, printers located in Darlington Hall, as well as the library that students will be able to use. Great. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here. And thank you, Sherry, for being the moderator tonight. And we will have all of the recordings of these sessions posted online. So thank, thank you, you and thank you all for attending. Have a good night. Thank, thank you. you. Stay healthy.